place is nice. The commander's left the helm! There's the camp. Not what I expected. These ruins look old. I wonder who built them and when. What are those towers? Nothing but that tablet. I wonder what it says. So the light beams are the key. It's locked. I should check the tablet again.
aligned. That should work. Now to try the door. Why would my father be here? Watch my step.
is this place? Time to take a dive. Hello? Icarus! <laughs> Traitor. Greetings, Cassandra. Welcome to Atlantis. Atlantis? Impossible! I thought it was just a myth. There are many secrets in this world that are hidden behind myth and legend. And who are you? My name is Pythagoras. I'm your father. Pythagoras? That doesn't make any sense. He died decades ago. Yes. Almost a century if memory serves. And yet, here I am. Standing before you. And Icarus is... My oldest and dearest friend. I sent him to watch over you. And now, here you are. Mirini, my mother, she sent me here to find you. Mirini. She sent you here because she knew this was your destiny. My destiny? There's more at stake than any one mind can comprehend. Why was I sent here? What's my role in all of this? I want answers. There is knowledge in this place. Powerful knowledge. In the wrong hands, its secrets could bring about the downfall of humanity. We cannot allow others to discover this place. We must find a way to see it from the world forever. I don't understand any of this. I'm a warrior, not a scholar. We all have a purpose, Cassandra. Yours was to help me protect the secrets of Atlantis. Why should I help you? You were never there for me. You endured what you had to in order to be strong enough for what's to come. I never asked for any of this. Our destiny is a burden we must shoulder. It is not something we choose. What would you have me do? The answers I seek are behind these mechanisms. They are sealed, and the artifacts to open them are missing. So, I need to find the artifacts and return them to Atlantis. I've collected information that hints at where these artifacts may be located. However, they are incredibly powerful. They corrupt the minds of lesser people and possess a will to defend themselves. I'll bring them back. But I still have questions for you. And I have answers. For now, though, take this. It's part of a key to access an artifact that is hidden in Viotia. I have an ally trying to find the second half as we speak. We found Atlantis! 
Atlantis. Let me check your vitals. You're delirious. We've been searching for an Isu artifact with reality bending powers, and this bothers you? <sighs> Pythagoras was born around 570 BCE. That would make the man in that cave nearly 150 years old. What could possibly be keeping him alive? The staff of Hermes Trismegistus. Mrs. San, you were right. I'll help you pack up the gear. Thanks. Let's roll out. I've reached the coordinates. The series of caves we detected should be right under me. My equipment's ready. Preparing to dive. Layla, you have no idea what's down there. There could be sharks. I prefer that to Templars. We'll keep an eye out for Obstago. Good luck, Layla. Thanks. I'm heading down now. There has to be a way in. I'll find it. There! That must be the way in. Are you all still reading me? It's awfully quiet on comms. We hear you, Layla. Thanks. It's just so silent down here. You're not alone, Layla. We're monitoring your progress. You're doing fine. Yeah, we're here if you need us. Said the assassin sitting at the desk. Well, I don't have to be on a boat to be useful. I have loads of information on ancient Greece. Did you know that at Sacros, the Minoans built a graveyard so huge it was known as the Ravine of the Dead? Can we please not talk about death? Elena, promise me that if I die down here, you'll rename this place the Caves of the Dead. I'm on it. People! I'm gonna miss the London loft. I really like the view. Miss it? Why can't you go back? Didn't you read Kyoshi's report? Abstergo's already swept through it. It's compromised. No, I've been busy researching Theta. Kyoshi, are you alright? Of course. After clearing out the last of our gear, I observed the infiltration from a distance. Did they pick up the present I left? Yes, they found the USB key you dropped under the desk. Nice tactic. No one at Abstergo will be stupid enough to stick that in a computer. They don't have to. It's a shell holding one of my special RFID transmitters. Get it anywhere near a workstation, like, say, in the head of security's office, and boom. Impressive. All in a day's hack. Wow. It's more elaborate than I could have imagined. They build all this. What I want to pay for an Isu toolbox. This is different from Egypt. Some aesthetic elements in common, but. Mm -hmm. I should get out of this diving suit before I start exploring. It's real. I made it. Layla to Altair 2? I'm in. Do you have visuals? Yes! 
By the gods, Layla, it's Atlantis. How are you feeling? Any nausea from the pressure change? No, I'm fine. These rooms are amazing. Think, Layla, think. There must be a way. Something has to power up this place. I'm re-entering the Animus. I need Cassandra to show me how she got farther inside. I know there's not much time, but I need answers. I imagine you have many questions. I have questions about my family. The sentimental and emotional connections formed between people have always irked me. I knew Mirini would fail to stay detached. Why did you come here and leave my mother and me in Sparta? I was never going to erase you. Our duty was to continue our ancient bloodline and ensure there was someone strong enough to do what was necessary when the time came. You could have brought us here with you. And you would have been unprepared. If you've been here all these years, how did you meet my mother? We're both descendants of the people who built this place just like you. We knew that we had an obligation to preserve our lineage. That's when you agreed to make me. In a manner of speaking, yes. Why is the cult hunting our family? It is our family's destiny to control the power in this place. In our blood lies the key to unlocking the secrets of Atlantis. So they want our blood? You have a destiny, my child, to destroy the cult and their influence on the Greek world. You threaten everything they have striven for, because you have the power to oppose them. They've tried to destroy me and failed. And they'll never control me. That's all I wanted to know. I want to know more about Atlantis and your work. There isn't enough time for me to explain even a fraction of what I have learned here. All I can offer for now is a hint of enlightenment. You call it Atlantis. What exactly is this place? I believe it was a city long ago. A place where beings of great knowledge and power lived before humankind had built even its first primitive settlements. It was perhaps some kind of library where the Ancient Ones stored information. Oh, this place is like a tomb. How did you live down here, and for so long? This artifact, like your spear, possesses incredible power. It has given me life, so that I may continue to learn from this place. What have you been studying here? Everything. The first civilization's history, their culture, their science. With it, we can change humanity's destiny and usher in an age of enlightenment. Destiny is something only the gods can alter. They were gods, living, breathing gods. I've heard enough. What do I do with the artifacts? Just place them in their corresponding steelies, and the path to answers will illuminate. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. I need to find the artifact that fits here. I need to find the artifact that fits here. Fear not. Above the cloud with its shadow is the star with its light.
Much to do, and many unknowns of the horizon. me. Tunics! Tunics! 
Minute or two, Nix. One size fits all. Uh, I don't see how one size can fit everyone. My name's Arsenios. If you want to know how to defeat the Minotaur and become the Greek world's most famous warrior, then this is the tour for you. You sell it well, kid. Let's go on your tour. You're not worried someone's going to steal your world-famous Minotaur tunics? Who would? There are tunics for Minotaurs. As you can see from the statues, the Minotaurs are fit some fall. So don't forget this exclusive tour, team. And that we hate to the stab particularly the sharp objects. They say it is only weakness. Behold. An exact replica of the Minotaur. Actual Minotaur size may vary. Where's the rest of him? Up the hill. Some of the workers lost control moving it into place. It killed two of them. Horns tore them clean apart. Well, not clean apart. Sounds like even Minotaur statues are deadly. Oh, they're the deadliest. They say the sales himself was killed by a Minotaur statue. I've heard many tales of the Minotaur. They usually make the sales sound more heroic. Well, Sparta's not known for its quality education, is it? Next thing you tell me Medusa's real? <sighs> Let's just continue the tour. Hey, in Pefka, the hero's always right. This way. Look out! That rock's actually a Minotaur dropping. He must have just been through here. I can't believe we missed him. Here's another helpful tip you won't get on any other tour. The Minotaur is the more levels. Trust me, I know my Minotaurs. I've been sure in like this the business Minotaur, yeah. 27 years. Just between you and me. Kind of warriors from all over. Geon come to Pefka to face the mighty Minotaur, hoping to claim his head as the ultimate prize. So far, well... <clears throat> he skilled all of them, but drinking freshly squeezed Minotaur hoof elixir will no doubt give you the oomph you need to triumph. Where does this Minotaur hoof elixir come from? The hoof of the Minotaur, obviously. It's right there in the name. Uh-huh. What does this elixir do besides, um, give me oomph? Depends what ails you, friend. Sore throat? Slow healing wounds? Itchy beats on parts unmentionable? Will it cure the regret of taking unnecessary tours? Yes. And let me guess. You've got a vial ready for purchase. It's just like Patterol we said. Never leave home without the ground-up hooves of a mythical creature. You never know when you'll need some Minotaur hoof elixir. You've made a wise purchase, my physically responsible friend. Now come, there's so much more to see. I'm not saying I'm responsible for breaking the Minotaur statue, but I'm also not saying I'm not responsible. And so concludes our tour. That's the tour? I didn't learn anything about the Minotaur. My customers are always satisfied. You can pay my associates on your way out. Please enjoy the rest of your stay here in Pefka. Good scam, kid. If I was as ambitious as you are when I was your age, my life would have turned out much better. Possibly making bad wine on an island somewhere. Thank you. Until next time, warrior. Oh, no, 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 no. Absolutely not.
interest you in purchasing some fermented minotaur droppings, or...? Are you really going to try that on me again? Can't eat the target if you don't shoot the arrow. Can I interest you in purchasing some fermented minotaur droppings, or...? Are you really going to try that on me again? Can't eat the target if you don't shoot the arrow. Anything a mercenary? How about an amulet to protect you on your travels, Mystios? My amulet... My sword is protection enough. Then I'm glad you're here. Your amulets won't protect you? Sometimes magic needs a help. You want me to kill him? It should be an easy task for someone with your talent. I'll help you. I'm sure... Leave it to me. <gasps>
a minute. Who among you is afraid? Who among you is frail, Lord? Ah, a mighty specimen approaches. Are you ready for honor? For glory? For certain death? I'm ready for two-thirds of that. Then you seek combat with the Minotaur! I can't see any labyrinths or golden balls of string. But if there is a Minotaur to be fought, I'm listening. Then listen well, my observant friend. If you slay the Minotaur, you would be Theseus reborn! And you'd get to take home the prize of Pefka! Your Minotaur must die. Sounds like we have another contender! It's time for the trials of the Minotaur! Three trials. Did you just say Minotaur pre-trials? To face the Minotaur, you must first prove yourself worthy by completing three heroic trials. We can't let people fresh off their Teremis casually stroll to their deaths. Kafka policy. What do these pre-trials require me to do, exactly? There's the trial of strength, where you fight the greatest warrior in all of Crete. The trial of accuracy, which only a keen eye can overcome. And the trial of endurance, where you must brave the water. One of your trials is swimming? That's... Ugh. This is a scheme to fleece me. <gasps> Mystios! I... that's... How could you even think such a thing? You're a terrible person. What exactly is the prize of Pefka? Why, it's limitless riches, of course. Warriors defeated by the Minotaur no longer need their drachni. So we collect their coins into a grand prize that only a champion who kills the beast may claim. Your grand prize is drachmi looted from the dead? Mystios, please believe me. Many of the coins go straight to the Lato school for children whose parents were tragically killed by the Minotaur. I see. I'll do your trials. Pre-trials! I'll do your pre-trials. But then the Minotaur's head is mine. Fantastic! Don't forget to collect tokens of success from the trial masters to prove your victories. Ugh. Another champion here to save us all from Pefka's long queues and overpriced Minotaur merchandise. Ah, may I introduce my wife, Cory, a rare beauty and so... so loud in front of my new friend. <laughs> Please, Leandros, there are more important things than glory. Not everyone with a sword seeks glory. Family comes before all else. Exactly, Mistyos. That's what I keep telling this cowardly slime in the shape of my husband. Hey! It's... It's our daughter. Your daughter? Amara. She ran off days ago. I'm sure she's... She's just fine. Don't worry about Amara. Not when there's a Minotaur to slay. Grrr! Slash! Slash! Big fight! Lots of blood! Think of the fame, Mistyos. Think of winning the prize of Pefka! Please. Trust me, champion. Nothing is what it seems in Pafka. Solving one problem may just solve all the others. Go, my legendary friend. The pre-trials of the Minotaur await. Who among you is strong? Then I say, prove yourselves. Come face to face.
day to you. Put down your skin. The pain. The oh, my bones! Again. You're you do fine. All in a day's work. You're a poorly muscled challenger. You are here to have your feeble frame crushed in my pre-trial of strength, yes? My feeble frame might be harder to crush than you think. <laughs> so brave, pretending you have a chance against a warrior as strong and handsome as me. We may fight for my token, yes. But maybe you would prefer to remain uncrushed and buy my token instead. Yes? No. We fight. Are you sure you would not prefer to spend your shiny drachmi? We fight. Then let the crushing begin. You should have bought my token, yes? Very good price. Now you must pay a good price. Death! I will use your bones to pick your other bones from my teeth. Ah, this isn't what winning feels like! Crush! Crush! Cr what... what am I feeling? What is this? The shame of defeat. This is defeat? Winning is better. Yes, the token of strength is yours. Have a wonderful day and please don't hit me again. I need all of the time. My favorite bones. You have crushed them to dust inside of my skin. I warn you, pay to pass this trial, potential champion. The trial of endurance has seen more deaths than all the other trials combined. Were the others drunk when they jumped? Actually, yes. Very unprofessional of them. Should you survive the champion's dive, you'll need to retrieve my trial token from a chest in the darkest depths of the water below. Your token will be mine. No, please, I urge you, pay me for my token. The watery dangers you must otherwise face to retrieve it are too great. You won't get one drachmi from me. I'll do the trial. Uh, if an excruciating underwater death is what you desire, 
who am I to stop you? Remember, you'll find my token in a chest at the bottom of the lake. I'll be waiting for you at the water's edge in the extremely unlikely event you survive. How exactly does going for a swim test my ability to slay the Minotaur? Minotaurs work in mysterious ways. Seems like a lot of hassle for a token. Looks like I'll have to get wet. That's what I'm looking for. Why'd I have to get my life this boys? Boys! I'm I need it! 
25 says he doesn't. Clear his space! Because I'm jumping! I don't want anyone to get hurt! Back! Stay back! I'll jump! You don't have to do this. There's always something to live for. No, not for me. I've got nothing. I am nothing. This isn't even armor. It's my mother's third favorite serving tray. I'm a failure. A failure! Stop wasting everyone's time and come back from the edge. If you were going to jump, you would have done it by now. What? I will! Any second now! No, you won't. You're a coward. I'm no coward! I'll show you! <sighs> My Zeus is tunic, you're right. Of course you're right. I am a coward. Come away from the edge. Talk to me. My village. <laughs> We're poor. We get little trade, fewer visitors. We're dying. I was chosen to kill the Minotaur, hoping it would make us famous. Put us on the map. Save us, maybe. But look at me. I'm no Minotaur slayer. <laughs> I got robbed by a tiny tour guide my first day here. Minotaur slaying isn't for everyone. Even if you go home without the beast's head, there will be another way to save your village. Yes, you're right! All I have to do is... lie to everyone! Do not put words in my mouth. Why not? They're good words. My people are kind and loving and... somewhat dim. Really? Hard to believe. I just have to make them think I've killed the Minotaur. Our village will become a shrine to me. The new Theseus. Mori is the Magnificent, Slayer of the Minotaur! We would prosper again! Sounds like a dream. A dream where people care about my village, trade with it? That's a dream worth having. A little look convincing. Like a regal, conquering Minotaur killing hero! Best steal the Pefka leader's shiniest armor. Oh, and I'll need a weapon. Something I can say I pride from the Minotaur's cold dead hands. <laughs> cold dead hoofs? Don't worry. I'm here to help. Good. 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 Is there anything else I can tell you? An axe that looks like you've looted it from the corpse of a minotaur. Is there a merchant for that in Pefka? When I first arrived, I heard rumors of a legendary axe being kept in Fort Lato. That's where you'll find what I need. What's so special about this axe? They say Theseus touched it. Twice! I'm sure Theseus handled many axes in his time. Well, yes. But he touched this one twice. Now that's the sort of axe you'd expect a minotaur to wield. You mentioned the shiniest armor was the Pefkan leaders. Where does he keep it? Somewhere safe. Somewhere where little street kids couldn't steal it. His house is well guarded. I'd look there. I've heard enough. I'll find you an axe and armor worthy of a true Minotaur Slayer. Just don't jump. I wouldn't think of it. It's not safe, okay? Oh, sorry, Miss Dios. Without both the axe and the armor... I'll get the lid.
What trouble have they gotten into now? Their mother's going to feed me to that damned Minotaur. This must be the pre-trial of accuracy. Hmm? Oh, yes. This is the pre-trial of accurately finding my Malaka's sons. Your sons? This doesn't sound like a trial. Have you tried raising sons? It's perhaps the greatest trial of all. Only by completing the world-famous and totally legitimate pre-trial of accurately finding my sons can you proceed and face the Minotaur. So, if I find your sons and make sure they're safe, you'll give me your trial token? You'll get my token and my eternal gratitude. I'll find your sons, pull them out of whatever trouble they've stumbled into. They usually hide in the fields behind me. May I suggest you prepare yourself mentally and physically. This will be your greatest trial, brave warrior. If you need me to find your sons, I'll need to know more about them. They're little sheets. Wondrous, beautiful, but sheets all the same. They won't listen to me, but perhaps they'll listen to you. You said your sons are likely in the field, but I'll need more to go on. They climb on everything. Buildings, towers, the crops, all the crops. They're exactly as tall as my sons, creating the perfect place for them to hide. Ah, they never listen when I call for them. They listen to me. Don't worry. I'll make sure your sons come home safe. You must find all three of them. And hurry. There's only so long my wife will believe they're off praying at the temple. There he is. Found him. I see him. <laughs> You'll never find... Go home to your father and do as he says, or I'll tell the Minotaur where you live. But... Uh, I hate you, Mistios! You're safe. Go home. And listen to your pater when he calls for you. Yes, miss. Sorry, miss. I still need to find the trial master's other sons. I'm sure. Home. Now. <sighs> When's Mother home? She lets me play in bases. Sons, you brought them home! You are right. They are little shits. Mm. I can't believe they listened to you. Consider the trial of accurately finding my sons complete! Of all my victories, this is the one I'll be most remembered for. That's all three tokens. My wife's pregnant again. Better meet Please Leandro, be said the warrior. Please be again. Home. Please be she again. lets me play in
this is the armor Maurice described. It is shiny. Could you use this? I have a lot of sick patients and no medicine to give them. Normally, I wouldn't bother. I don't usually. I need a very specific herb to treat this fever. The Athena. And you want me to get it from. By the gods, I'm. I'm in. Thank you. You can leave every.
This is the axe the man from the roof wanted. It's pretty heavy. I wonder if he could even lift it. Now I have both items the man on the roof needs to bring glory back to his village. Better get this back to him before he actually jumps.
I trust you were sac- It's all yours. Please. That'll do. Huh? I'm back. And I have everything you need to successfully lie to your people. Fantastic! And fear not, friend. This is a lie that will save my people. It'll put us back on the map. Well... Can I, uh... Can I have my items now, please? No. The axe and the armor are mine. You think they could make you look like a Minotaur Slayer? No matter what armor you wear, you'll always be Maurice the Pathetic. You fool no one. I... No, I bet. I bet. Go home, hero.
That was close. I could certainly pro... If you're paying... Our position is weak. You're a soldier. You're right. But the unit that keeps engaging us... We... You need me to destroy the military? Nothing should be... I can't... Come back if you change your mind. in the letter about the arena fighting. Meon. Look, a warrior who's braver. I have your Malaikas tokens. No more games, no more schemes to rob me of my Drachmi. It's time to slay a Minotaur! Absolutely, Mistios. No problem, but first, perhaps you'd like to buy back your exquisite, uh, finely crafted trial tokens? This offer will expire in... Uh, by the gods! They uh, make for fantastic gifts. Strange, but I would like something to remember Pefka by. And all that's left is facing our star attraction himself, the Minotaur! Are you ready to meet your doom? If your pre-trials are anything to go by, yes, yes I am. Well, good, great, I, I, I want you to fight the Minotaur. You'll find the beast in the depths of the Cave of the Brave, on the Zithki Plateau. Two other warriors have just completed their pre-trials. You can speak to them for more information. They'll join you when you're ready to, you know, die horrifically. You've come all this way. Join us. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have a very important uh, pottery lesson to attend. So... <clears throat> If you have questions. Bye again. And you must be... the Warriors. Look, brother! The final member of our Minotaur hunting party has arrived! When the beast sees our assembled might, he will moo miserably in fear! Do Minotaurs moo, or...? If it's all right with both of you, I'd like to strike the killing blow. Or can we at least say I struck the killing blow? I'm willing to haggle down to... 
played a key role in distracting the Minotaur while allowing the killing blow to be struck. The killing blow will go to the warrior with the greatest skill and courage in battle. Then I shall wear the Minotaur's entrails as my necklace. <sighs> this can only end well. Are you ready to ride? Not yet. I need more time. Only the best warriors rest here. Heroes. They aren't many. But they're heroes of the arena. Those who earned an honorable death. The others are buried in unmarked holes far from here. Nobody remembers them. When your time comes, do you think you'll be worthy of the title hero, Misty? I'd be more than worthy to rest here, if someone proved strong enough to kill me. I've heard tales of you and your exploits, Mystheus. Impressive, if they're true. Depends on what you've heard. I've heard a lot. A warrior adventuring across the land. Sometimes they're half beast, or half god. But always an eagle bear. Tell me, is any of it true? There is some truth in the stories, but they're mostly fantasy. Good answer. I don't care if the stories are true. I can see you have it in you. A capacity for greatness. The potential to be... a real hero. I am Mayon. Cassandra. If you want to truly live, Cassandra, to become a hero of the arena, and to win riches beyond your wildest dreams, you need to fight in my arena. Sounds interesting. Good. Take my boat and head up the Pefka coast towards the shipwreck and into the mouth of the valley. There, you'll find the entrance to my arena and Skura, who handles my fighters. If he sees what I see in you, I think he'll have much to be excited about. Go on, head up the coast towards the shipwrecks to fight in my arena. Let's let Leandro says it lives in the cave of the brave on the Victi Plateau. I say let the Mino tournament begin! If the Minotaur eats humans and lives right next to the population of Pefka, how are they all still alive? Perhaps the diet of Pefka disagrees with you. Good thinking, brother. Let us dip our blades in rich oils and onions to gain an edge in combat. Ha! 
and I shall use your spinal column. There's no glory here. Only death. lives down here. <laughs> Did the Minotaur just cough? be spared. Otherwise, death by hoof awaits you. Fear my moo. Fear it? Malaka. I'm going to start stabbing until someone tells me what's going on. going on or I'll cut it out of you and take off that Malacca's mask Leandros I told you nothing is what it seems in Fafka I'm happy to refund any expenses incurred please it's my daughter uh, Mara masked men are holding her captive deep in the canyons of Titi Plateau masked men what kind of masks uh, white like marble Bleeding from their eyes. Horrific! The cult. They control everything in Pefka. Lured champions from all over with the promise of Minotaur slaying glory. Only to swindle and ambush them down here in the dark. Honorless. If I don't do as they say, a matter dies. If I take off my mask, or tell my wife, or ask for help, she dies. Tell me about your daughter. Amara. The sound of her laughter is sunlight on my skin. She is joy, Mistios. One night, the masked men took that joy from me. They needed my silver tongue to lure wealthy warriors to their trials. In Amara, they found all they needed to control me. You said the cult, the masked men, have your daughter in the canyons of Dicti Plateau? There are a lot of canyons. But only one holds Amara. There is a place called Zakros, an ancient ruin, and the bastion of the masked men's power. I go there every night, hoping to catch a glimpse of her, but I never have. I, I fear they keep her underground, where she'll never see the sun. How many men have you sent to their deaths with a speech and a smile? Thousands. More. But their lives will never outweigh my Amara. She's all I have. But now I have you, don't I? You! You can free her from those Malacca's masked men! Tell me, whose face would Amara wish to see rescue her? Mine? Or her father's? 
Be brave, Leandros. Bravery, yes. You're right, Mistios. No matter what, I must be there for my Amara. Please, will you join me? We will save your daughter. Together. Thank you, Mistios. Meet me outside the ruins of Zakros on Vitki Plateau. That's where my daughter is and where I must be. These masked men, they're... I'm sure I'd fight alone. I'll stand with you, Leandros. No matter what happens today, Amara will be proud of her father. I see you're still a Minotaur. I faced many of the Greek world's deadliest warriors in this mask. Granted, I was just there to distract those warriors with my roars and threatening gestures so they could be ambushed and stabbed from behind. But wearing it makes me feel brave. You look like the one thing in the world that Kiviadis wouldn't take to bed. Can you even see out of that thing? Mock all you want. When those Malakas and Zakro see this beast charging towards them, they will know fear! They must be keeping her underground. With hooves and heroics. We shall save her! But Zakros is well defended. How should we proceed? Quietly. I'll try to sneak in. Stay back here until it's safe. I can be stealthy! You have horns. Go, I'll do my best to distract the guards. Where is your honor, you best Malakas? The Minotaur calls you. Come and face me. Show me your bravery.
didn't do anything. I know it's safe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Me. Well, <gasps> is that the Minotaur? Show her. Father, you're the Minotaur? Maybe don't tell your mother. I waited and waited and 
You weren't going to leave me here, were you? You were just working on your plan to save me, right, Pater? Of course. I was always coming for you. I just... Uh, needed to find something first. The people who took you... If there's anything you overheard, anything that could help me stop them... While I pretended to sleep, their leader spoke at a meeting place in Kidonia. I wrote down all the masked men's whisperings. Hopefully something in here will be useful to you. My friend, we're heading to my wife. She keeps a vigil for Amara at the warrior's rest. Come with us. See the gift you gave. Our family, together. After you. Amara! Amara! You're alive! Mater! My family, you did this? Thank Leandros. When the time came for action, he charged. Despite being outskilled and outcostumed, he fought courageously. Your husband is no coward. Perhaps there are some heroes here. No one's ever won the prize of Pefka! Everyone who's died facing the Minotaur has had their drachmi go in the vault, growing year by year. And now, a tiny but well-earned portion of it is yours! Thank you for a... a tiny portion? Of course! Less taxes, reasonable operational expenses, and... I'll make sure all of it reaches your boat, Mistios. You've earned it. <laughs> oh, and... Hmm. This is for you. A coward doesn't deserve to be the Minotaur. You do. Quite a compliment. Pefka is no longer safe for us. Freeing Amara will bring repercussions from people who are not known to be forgiving. But we're alive. And whatever future we have, we have it only because of you. Be safe.
The cult has existed for decades and will exist for centuries more. Head up the coast towards the shipwreck. Leon said to look for shipwrecks. Must be Skura. What an entrance! Varnavas told me about the arena. I should give it a go.
Take them. Nothing but the ramblings of a sad old man. Old? Surely you can tell my ears from your ears alone? I've used my eyes as well. They tell me you could hear the crowds from all the way out here. The thirst never quenched. Thirst for what? Combat in the arena, Mistios. Life and death in their purest forms. Love, hate, glory and ruin. All there for the crowds to devour. My name is Skura. Cassandra, I found a note that mentioned this place. And you. It called for fighters from all over the Greek world. These walls no longer shake because there are no heroes of the arena left. The crowds don't care about real fighters anymore. They just want blood. But you, Mystios, you could change that. You could make them care. And win reaches beyond your wildest dreams, of course. If you were to fight and win. Perhaps I can make the arena walls shake once again. Good. Tell me about the other fighters. As a new contender, the choice of opponent will be yours. No slaves here. No hapless criminals. Just warriors with a resolve to spill blood for the crowd. I see. There are five current champions, each one more bloodthirsty and ruthless than the last. You'll need to defeat each of them if you are to be called Hero of the Arena. Tell me more about the Arena. It's been here for decades, but recently it's changed. As most things do. True. Fighters today care only about Drachmi, not honor. And the crowds now come only to watch one warrior got another. They're jaded. They want more than just killing. They want cruelty. My blades and I are ready. Choose your opponent. I'll fight this king of the bandits.
Do you hear? You must have done well in there. Did you not see? I haven't seen a fight from inside the arena in years. But if the crowds are cheering like that, perhaps I have a hero on my hands after all. Of course they cheer for me. Who could resist cheering for a warrior legend in the arena? Maybe the stories I've heard are true. Skura? Marion? Ah, oh, Mistyus. I knew it as soon as I laid eyes on you. You could be... could be hero of the arena like Skura. If you keep fighting, I foresee a long and profitable career. For both of us. Talk to Skura when you're ready to continue. Choose your opponent. I will spear Velos like a wild animal.
Your blade, Mistyos. The spear. It reminds me of long ago. Of the Persians. This spear has killed many Persians. As have I. On the battlefield and in the arena. You fought in the Persian Wars? I did. What was that like? Hard. The Persians were a formidable enemy. They had the numbers. They had warriors from atoll conquered lands in their armies. It took a united Greek war to turn them back. Anything less would have been total defeat. A united Greek world? Seems like fantasy now. Agreed. But coming back from the war was harder than the war itself. Mayon and I found daily life afterwards to be... difficult. We had been men filled with life and death purpose. We found that again in the arena. What was the arena like in your time? It was a place of honor and heroism. I bathed my blade in blood for years. But that was a different time, and I was a different man. How exactly did you become a hero of the arena? What did you do? I survived. I have to go. You've done a warrior's job in the arena. Keep it up. Thank you. Choose your opponent. I'll hunt Ivanthi in the arena.
A warrior in the arena doesn't have many privileges outside those of pleasure, fame, and glory. Tell me, Mistyus, do you have anyone close to you? Friends, family, lovers? I have people in my life. People that are important to me. Do you have that as well? Uh, my daughter's very important to me. Surely you have friends from your days in the arena. I did. What happened to them? I'm hero of the arena. The number one champion. I've killed them all in honorable combat. They rest down the coast from here. What about your family? Your daughter? My beloved Danea. The first time I held her in my hands, I knew I'd never be able to kill again. She's the reason I stopped fighting, even if I can't disentangle myself from the arena entirely. How long ago was that? Years ago. Many years ago. I won't push any further. But come see me fight. I envy you, Mistyos. You have everything to gain. Don't let it slip away. Choose your opponent. The rock from Athens is...
Choose your opponent. I don't want to fight right now. As you wish. I will lead those who oppose us to the gates of the underworld. Cosmos! Be my guide!
Thank you. 